So it's opening day of gun season here in New York. So you guys that have been around a while know what that means. Hawk's got the, you got 270? No. What do you have today? The 7 mm He's got a fancy firearm. You know what that means. I'm on the camera, Hawk's on the gun. We always hunt together opening day at my one property. So we're here. We have our orange on as in New York now. Uh, it is indeed mandatory to wear orange during gun season, so we have our orange on. I actually had to find some orange. I don't own, like, anything. So this is from when I was a kid, so it's working. Hawks guys orange beanie on, and uh, we'll see what happens. We've already heard tons of gunshots. I already missed the peace and serenity of both season, but... It's time to try to put a buck down on opening day. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so we're hunting a transition point between uh, bedding and bedding. It's easy in, easy out. The wind's perfect. Hawk also has his Ozonics up there running. So, we got that as well. But our game plan, why we picked here... We're right in between hunt pressure. So there's guys hunting to our right, there's guys hunting behind us, and there's guys hunting to our left. So also on our front left. So we're pretty much where deer are going to try to run to seek cover. And we do have a food plot to our left that we can kind of see. So we can see if they get into there. But we'll see what happens. If you're seeing this, something happened. <laughs> Stay tuned. So it's been real slow, which kind of usual on opening day a gun. They they know that pressure's coming. But you saw there, those little dudes, they came down from up on the ridge, came. I mean, they were in range, could have easily shot them, but just the little guys, you gotta let them, gotta let them live their lives, you know what I mean? So they're up there, hopefully they're up in the thick stuff and they stay over here so they're safe and they can live another year. It was a button buck and a little doe fawn. The button buck was leading the way, so I was proud of him, but he took her to safety. He's gonna get his little rut on. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either. But hopefully he makes it to rut next year and he can experience what it's like to be an adult bucky this time of year. 
we're expecting the movement to start picking up right about now. Like I said, we're in transition between bed and, and food. So, actually between two bed and sources and two forts, food sources. So, hopefully uh, we see a good buck or even in this stand it wouldn't be bad to take a, a, a big old doe. So, we'll see. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so it's been real slow. We decided to get the Tacticam SK set up. As you can see here, there it is on the tree. Set up, both antennas facing. We got it on a trail going to the food plot on the back side, hoping to get deer as they hit the scrape and go out to the plot. But we're probably going to back out now, figure out where we're going to go. Uh, and we'll see how this bad boy really does. At first, I was really ticked. I put the SIM card in backwards. Don't recommend doing that. But now it's set, it's good, and we're getting pictures instantly. I mean, like, instantly. So we're going to back out and uh, see where we can find some deers here. Stay tuned. The morning did not pan out the way we were hoping. It was really slow. We did get the SK installed on the back side of the food plot. So we got that out for testing. Now we're in a place that have we see action, you'll recognize. This is where Hawk and I always hunt open in morning for spring turkey. This blind has actually been up since spring turkey. And uh, the deer are completely used to it. It, it doesn't bother them none. So we're in it right now. We got a bunch of bucks. There's bedding to our right. There's a bunch of scrape lines that come through here. There's a bunch of new bucks that just showed up yesterday. So what we're going to do is we're going to be rattling and grunting. We're going to try to get a buck in here. Uh, if it's my eight point that I've been after, I'm going to let the bow eat. If it's any other buck, good buck. Hawk's going to let her fly. So He's got the rifle. I got a, I got a bow, so it should be fun. We're using the monopod stake, so it's pretty cool. But we'll see what happens. We got perfect wind. Got in early enough. Should be a good sit. Warming up. The wind's dying down. We'll see what happens. Stay tuned.
So that was the first deer we've seen so far. Did the same thing that we kind of planned on. She got pretty close though. I mean, she was 14 yards in front of us. But, I mean, nice mature doe, but not what we're here for right now. We don't want to be shooting does in this spot because there's a lot of bucks that cruise this. Hopefully, that means they're going to get up and get moving because the bedding is not very far from where we're at right now. So, she's working her way up the ridge. So, we'll see. Stay tuned. Hopefully, we can get eyes on a buck. But, you never know. Stay tuned. So, guys, we're, we're back at the house. It was an extremely slow day. Would we see like eight deer total? Four of which we were hanging the uh, Tacticam SK so we can test it. Um, it was really slow, but that's kind of how it goes. Opening day of gun, deer get shell shocked with all the, the uptick and pressure. Plus, now they know they're getting shot at and they're getting shot at everywhere. So it is what it is. We did have that one doe. We could have shot her, but we were there to kill a buck. Not a doe, especially in that spot of the property. Uh, just didn't fall together. So it is what it is. It was a good first day. We didn't pressure anything. So I see it as a success. Plus, we got to go out and we got to hunt. So we heard a lot of people shoot. So if you guys were successful on opening day, send your pictures to our Facebook or our Instagram, either or. We'll repost them. And uh, tell us the story behind it because we're always eager to hear it. I got to get my butt to Thanksgiving. Uh, it started at 1. It's 5.30, so I'm a little late, but it's opening day. You know, you got to hunt. But guys, it's Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Hit that like button for your boys. we got a 10,000 subscriber giveaway coming close. We're getting closer every day, almost to 9,000 as we speak. It's the ultimate turkey package, so you're going to want to be in it. So get in, subscribe. That's the only thing you got to do as of right now to enter. Let's get to 10K. Let's get that fired up. But here's the day two, and uh, we'll see what happens. But guys, Jake Sleesman, Blue Collar Outdoors. Hawks hiding behind the plant. There he is. We'll catch you on the next one.